Identify the slope, y-intercept, and the x-intercept. So we have three objectives here. We want to find the slope. We want to find the y-intercept. And we want to find the x-intercept. So I believe the best way to do this is to use, or put this into slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. This gives us a lot of answers. It gives us a slope, gives us a y-intercept, and our x-intercept is given in here when y equals zero. So when it crosses the x-axis. All right, so we just have to make y equals zero to find it. But first, let's put it in slope-intercept form so we can do that. So we have y minus half equals x plus half. Goal is to isolate y to get it there, so we add half to both sides. We get y is equal to x plus one. We put it in slope-intercept form, pretty simple. No number in front of it means it's a one. Our slope is one over one. Our y-intercept is a 1. Now we just have to find the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, we're going to make y equals 0. So I'm going to rewrite the equation. y equals x plus 1. Make the y 0. 0 equals x plus 1. So what value of x do we get when y equals 0? So first, you have to subtract 1. Negative 1 equals x. So it crosses the x-axis at negative 1. There you have it. We found all three points of this equation.